In this video, you will learn about the WordPress dashboard for WordPress 3.9. Make sure to subscribe to hello to wp for up-to-date video tutorials using WordPress. To access the administration screens, you're going to want to log into the administration backend. Type in your username, your password, and log in. Along the top of your screen, you'll notice a dark gray bar. This bar contains the WordPress logo, which has a drop-down menu with links to WordPress support and information. It also has the name of your site with a drop-down to visit the front end slash home page, a button to view comments, and a button slash drop-down to add a new post, media, page, or user to your site. On the right-hand side of the bar is a drop-down to edit your profile and log out. If you navigate to your site name drop-down and click on visit site, you'll notice the dark gray bar does not disappear. You will also notice the name of your site drop-down changes when you're on the front end. It now offers options to dashboard, themes, customize, widgets, menus, background, and header. This allows you to quickly access these functions of the back end while you're on the front end of your site. We're going to go back to the dashboard for now. The menu on the very left hand side of the screen allows you to access all of the functions of the site. As you mouse over the different links, sl slide out menus will appear to show you the full options available. As additional plugins are installed, new options will appear in different parts of this menu depending on the plugin. The main dashboard screen is your information central. The top panel is full of quick links to get started on your site. From these quick links, you can write a blog post, add a page, view your site, manage your widgets or menu, turn your comments on and off, and learn about getting started. You can also change your theme and customize your site. On the left-hand column, there is an at a glance panel which shows you how many posts, pages, and comments are on your site as well as the version of WordPress you are using and the theme. Below that is an activity panel which shows you recently published posts and recent comments. This comment here is a default comment that appears on all new installations of WordPress. Going back to the top right column, we have a quick draft box which allows you to quickly add and save a draft for a post. WordPress News tells you about the latest news directly from WordPress as well as updates by other official WordPress sites. If you want to change which panels are displayed on your dashboard, click the Screen Options button at the very top right just under where it says Howdy. You can see by selecting and unselecting these boxes that content appears and disappears based on your needs. You can also drag these panels around to reorder them per your liking. You can find help for any screen you're on by clicking the Help button next to Screen Options. It opens up a drop-down providing support related to the screen you're on. As you install additional themes or plugins to your WordPress site, you will notice different panels appear on your dashboard as well as additional options appearing in the gray screen options bar depending on the plugin or theme. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Check out the channel for more videos using WordPress. If you have a request for a video tutorial for WordPress usage, plugins, or themes, please leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to hello to wp